just arrived in Brussels and what we are doing? Of course we are having beer. Cheers! I am now in the heart of Brussels, Grand Place Square. It's an amazing place. The architecture here is just impressive. It, it doesn't look even real. It's made in a Gothic style. There is a city hall and six guild halls. And also in August, they installed a carpet made from real flowers on the square. So this place looks so beautiful. some breakfast and we noted that in Belgium the prices for takeaway and for dine-in are different for example the sandwich costs 4 euros if you uh, buy it for takeaway and it costs 7 euros if you eat it in the restaurant Mannequin piece is an iconic statue in Brussels all tourists come here to see this place and this boy has different outfits. Sometimes you can see him naked, sometimes he is dressed up. So now I will show you how it looks like. Ta -da! Yes, it looks so small and tiny and it's one of the biggest disappointments in this city. The most popular dessert in Belgium is waffles, so we buy them almost every day because it's so delicious. And we've got another one just now with Nutella and some nuts. Not everyone knows, but there is a whole family of piscine statues. There is also a girl and a dog. We're having beer in the Lirium Bar. It's a very popular place in Brussels. They have more than 2,000 types of Delirium black. We paid around uh, eight nine euros, and it's really good. Very popular Tintin adventures um, were created by the Belgium artists, and you can find a lot of artworks on different walls across the city. Mussels and fritters are considered as uh, national dishes in Belgium, so we had to try them. We went to one restaurant, we paid 19 euros for one pot. Um, they were good ones, but I cannot say that there is something special. Metro system in Brussels is quite complicated and there is no security or police who can help you. But what I like about this metro, they have a screen with all stations and you, uh, you can see the red light. It means that the train currently is on that station. Also in Brussels, every metro station has different art pieces on the wall, which makes uh, every station unique, different and really interesting. So the metro brought us to the central public urban park and it has the second tallest monument in Brussels. It looks really beautiful. It's an arch that represents some history of this country. Brussels makes so much money with the mannequin piece. They sell it in a souvenirs, in chocolate stores, and also even I saw it in the fashion store. They use it in the window. We're having lunch in Ches Leon. It's a restaurant in Brussels, which was recommended by several people. We ordered a menu which includes a starter, main dish and dessert. So we received our starter, it's a cheese croquette. It looks pretty nice. So let's start now. So good. 
We received our main dish. It looks amazing. I have even the Belgian flag <laughs> in my sausages. And then it has a turkey steak with a mushroom sauce. I have sausages with mashed potato. We finished our lunch in this restaurant, it was really good, the best one in Brussels and we paid for it 40 euros which is a good price for the city. Also, they give to everyone a postcard with a picture of their restaurant and I think the first team of the restaurant which you can send to anyone. <laughs> Every day when we are passing through the central part of the city, there is some live music playing. As you know, Brussels is the heart of Europe, so we came to visit European Parliament and they have a museum and a hall and I will show you now. So guys, this is how the European Parliament looks like where they make all decisions and in the middle you can see 28 flags of all countries and uh, all political leaders they are sitting in front around the speaker. Now we came to the House of European History which is next to European Parliament. Inside the European Museum there is a TV where you can watch historic debates between politicians. So that was the house of European history, quite interesting place, they have six floors where you can see the history of European Union. Behind me there is one of the most popular structures in the center of Europe, it's called Atomium. Uh, it was built for Expo 58, the same as Eiffel Tower was built in Paris. It represents a crystal iron. Uh, modified around 160 billion times. There are several spheres connected uh, by tubes with elevators and lifts inside. On our last day uh, in Europe we feel a bit sick of the heavy food and beer so today we went to one of the most famous organic cafes in uh, Brussels. It's called Eki. I think I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but they're everywhere. And today we're having two soups. So guys, I'm finishing my video in Brussels. As for me, the city is not a tourist place, it's more a political center. But anyway, let me know what you think about the city and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.